Our first date was on the 7th of August 1965. We got engaged on the 10th of August 1967. We got married on the 8th of August 1970. Small in church, oh, yeah. yeah. That's Fred's dad and oldest sister. I had two sisters and one brother. Both your sisters were regular church girls, weren't they? Yes. Uh, in young days. Yeah, different generations. Because I think, from what I've heard my cousin's wife say, that was the the meeting place on a Sunday for young people. Yeah, there was nothing else doing. They went to church and then they walked home yeah. and, and paired off. And yeah. um, I only know what Dar used to say. But, um, you know, everybody went to church to meet. To meet up. It was yeah. a focal point. Yeah. You know, it was Sunday night. Um, and I mean, I can remember a bit of that at Bishnim when I was sort of perhaps 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. You know, you went and that's where you saw your friends on a Sunday. I think the church in the past was the main thing, wasn't it? Yeah. But um, yeah. everybody, the families were continuous families, weren't they? Two yeah, or three generations of the same family living in the yeah. village. Yeah. They, and as soon as ever that started to dwindle, the community's gone. Yeah. But you didn't, Fred, your mother and father didn't go to church on a regular basis. No, they didn't. Harvest Festival. Always went to Harvest Festival. Always. Harvest Festival. But your mum would go if there was something specific, yeah. wouldn't yeah, she? Yeah, that's right. But like so many older men, your father wasn't... No. He didn't follow on, did he? Because no. he wasn't a bell ringer or... No. I remember seeing your dad... <laughs> he knows what I'm going to say. Your dad at Harvest Service. And your father liked polo mints, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. And father wasn't very tall. So father would sit down and he'd be down here. And out would come the polo mint. i say you could sit in the pool with a sandwich and nobody would know that. that but there is... A, hard, there it? is... Um, and I could, we could show it to you. On the left-hand side, Gore going in those pews, about three pews back, is it? Yeah. There's this indentation in the wood, WP. Yeah, that's right. I wonder who that is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I would imagine that was done perhaps during a sermon or something when, because, you know, you could get in there and you couldn't be seen, so. Yeah. When Ali said she was getting married, I said to my daughter, are you having any attendance? She said, yes, ma'am, mum won. Anna, I said, oh, yes, because she had been bridesmaid twice at the age of four and 11, and really had never seen the, seen the brides afterwards. I want somebody that I'm always going to be in contact with. So, and then I said to her one day, when you come out of church, it would be rather nice if Rex was there to meet you. Very indignantly, she said, he won't be there to meet me, Mum. I'm taking him in with me. Oh, yes. Okay. And um, dressed up the dog, put the, put the ribbon round his neck. Mm. We got Anna to hold him. And do you know that dog, there was no worry, you, you wouldn't want to worry about him cocking his leg or anything, because he wouldn't. And he came out and he, he thought it was wonderful. Yeah, my parents are buried in the new cemetery on the right hand side isn't it yeah i mean the stone is there that's all quite clear the stone yeah. and that but i mean a grandfather's stone that's up in the old yard and uh, yeah churchyard yeah. isn't that the one was called the same name too and that was oh, tradition yeah, um, william, william uh, i'm frederick thomas but william my father there's a lot of williams and and, and thomases my grandfather was thomas uh, so is um, your grandson called Fred? Yes, yes. Frederick George. And yes, funnily and, enough... And, and my daughter kept her name, so we'd yeah. run down to the name Pook, but her kept her name, and our son-in-law was called Jason Church, or should have been Mrs. Church, no, or Mrs. Pook. Because Jason, Jason changed his surname. It's called Pook. Ali said that she didn't, she never wanted to lose the name Pook. 